and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Pudo back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over a few things here. First off, how Zero Chill is affecting the market and how it will affect the market, so you guys can prepare for that. Because, like I always say, I can't entirely, like the video I make now, can't always benefit you for tomorrow because things will change. So, I have tips for the preceding days and all the other things that will be coming out, so you guys have at least an idea so that when it does come out, you don't have to, you don't have to wait for a video. You guys can just go for it. Now, if you guys already didn't know, the market crashed pretty bad yesterday for a little bit, and then it actually came back up. So, two things could have happened here you guys could have either bought cheap and sold right away and made a massive profit or you could have just bought cheap and kept the cards like i did i bought like i bought one card and that was because i was recording videos i didn't really have time to sit in the market but i did notice that right after zero chill dropped the market crashed really bad so you guys should have been picking up cards now guys this is going to be happening a lot during the zero chill this is kind of what i hinted at last year when i told you that zero chill the market will crash and come right back up so last year i was able to buy when i saw a crash i would just buy a ton of cards and then resell them back and i'd make an instant profit in like a few hours this is when i made all those coins last year kind of how i did it and this is pretty much what i'm going to be going over in this video as well as the market obviously with some tips starting to there now guys before we get into the video it is the 25 days of food miss I did hit up all the other giveaway winners. We're settling all that out. And I will be picking today's winner in the 10:30 video. Go to my team of the week, so stay tuned for that. Now, guys, as you guys know, I gotta do is send the giveaway, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then comment down below the secret word and your comments. Once you do all those things, you are entered to win. Good luck. Now let's get into the video. So let's head over to the market. So I'll show you guys kind of what I was buying things for. I'll tell you guys know all the prices I saw yesterday to give you guys an idea. So let's so start at 88 still, because we always gotta start a little bit low. Just so we work our way up. Now these zero chill cards here guys I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you they might seem cheap and all and not really relevant but these will be a factor at some point i know for a fact if there is a blitz that requires kindling these will skyrocket so last year when the blitz initially came out these cards were like uh, 35k and i was like i remember i needed more snowflakes on the first saw uh, when i already because I, I was selling on my profit i was like actually wait i want that offer so let's go buy snowflakes but these 88 cards right here when it's like 110k skyrocketing because everyone was just flying for them so i wouldn't say buy them now but as we get closer to a blitz, if there's a confirmed blitz coming, and the first offer doesn't use kindling at all, buy a few of these because the worst case scenario, you're selling back for the same price. But when the blitz comes out and people need snowflakes, I'm telling you, every all the all the stuff on the market just flies off. It just starts flying off the shelves, and everything skyrockets in price. And these are cheap enough to where if you buy a few of them, you can make a massive profit. I'm heading over to the 90s. Anthony Costanzo, another one. 85k for a 90, not horrible. Not that I'd recommend buying these cards to use, but I would again say that if you did need the kindling, this would not be a bad. It's really hard to say kindling. I don't know why. Snowflakes would have really flew up, like went off the tongue a lot easier. Kindling is not the easiest thing here. And let me be honest with you, I never really looked into the 91s and 90s that crashed yesterday. So I couldn't give you exact prices. I was more on the line of like the 92, 93s or the yeah, 92, 93s, 94, 95s. That's kind of where I was sitting during the crash because they came down a lot and there was a lot of potential profit there. I never really checked this area to be completely honest with you. But the weird thing is things came back up more than they were at before. It was weird. Like things came back up quite a lot afterwards. So honestly, guys, best bet right now, I'm going to go look at the 92s, 93s, 94s, 95s. If certain cards are a lot up from when I saw them, I'd recommend some because I think this is going to be a common trend. I think that every time some new stuff comes out in Zero Chill, NFL 100s are going to take a hit specifically. Yeah, that is what took a hit. NFL 100s took a pretty big hit when they dropped. And I'd say it's probably because some 94s and dropped and some 95s. And nothing had been at the same overall or higher overall than NFL 100. So when they got posted, people didn't care about the NFL 100s for a minute. And they went forward because they wanted like Bruce Smith or McCaffrey or whatever. So people went to that. So they were selling off NFL 100s and then they wanted presents. So if they ever release another batch of presents, if they release like LTD Mahomes, if they release new new cards like that, new 95s and new masters, when they, start, when they start releasing all that stuff, I'm telling you, it's going to shift the market again like that so always stay tuned and when that does happen i recommend you buy because you know you can sell pretty instantly because things will recover pretty fast now let's head over to the 92 to 93s so this is where i was sitting at first looking through here things came down pretty significantly yesterday darius leonard was 140 and then he was 200k after the market settled out and now it looks like he's back at 155 now could that just let's get to zero chill specific so you guys can see those prices yeah, Darius Leonard was 140, then he was like 200, 205k or something like that, and, I was, and it messed up my whole thing. If you guys didn't see, I made, a, I made a video going over the cheapest methods to get kindling, and I did a whole ratio chart, and then of course, once I recorded the video and I was posting it, he skyrocketed 60k up, and he ruined my whole, everyone ruined all my numbers. Darwin James, all these cards again, these are kind of like last year with the Sam Darwin's I always tell you about. 
these are the guys that like right here Duran James was typically like the Sam Donald for me that I was like okay so I'll buy a few of him at 208 buy a few of him at 210 and then a the blitz came out and they all skyrockets like 350k I wouldn't say do it yet he is giving me the vibe so far that what they're kind of doing is going back to last year and seeing all the things they did wrong that helped us because that things that help us is what they do wrong so all the things that they did wrong like glitches um being able to take advantage of the, of the blitz being able to abuse present packs all that stuff and it seems like they're undoing it all and making sure they don't let it happen again to make sure that we have to actually buy packs to get coins we can't just get them by playing the game so at this moment i'm not too confident that buying them right now will actually help i'm definitely waiting to see what comes next now let's go over to the 94 95 this is what i'm really interested to talk about so caffrey yesterday He's actually down. Yesterday he was 330, and then he came down during the crash to 295, and then he came back up to 330, and then he's back at 288. So, McCaffrey, your word for today is Elf. Comment down below Elf, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Once you do all those things and comment your console, you're entered to win. Good luck. Decent price. Now, people have been asking me just to clear this up for everyone should you buy him? Here's the thing you compare him to an Info 100 running back. Actually, you compare him to Saquon Barkley, right? My mutt here is running back. One difference in speed, one difference in Excel, two difference in agility. Five less carrying, the catching definitely, and the elusive by four. Trucking no, and break tackle no. So Saquon Barkley considerably stacks up against him. And that is for Mutt Heroes. Barry Sanders destroys him. Way faster, way better break tackle, way better elusive. Well, not way better elusiveness. The only thing he has on him is catching. Now, again, don't get me wrong. If I got a Nat Christian McCaffrey, I would power him up and I'd put him as my second back because I do throw a lot of things. I do throw a lot of my running backs. I could probably put like a route ability on him, which would be really, really cool. But for the purpose of being my main running back, I do not think he's even in the top five as an option at main running back. I do think he'd be great, like I said, as a, as a receiving back and a lot of other things, but I don't think he is my first option as my main back. The juke and spin's great and all, but that really just doesn't justify it considering what you expect from a running back. Now, as we move on more, yeah, so I don't think he's worth it. Unless he's not, I'd definitely would power him up. But I would have gotten my way to buy him. Deacon Jones yesterday took one of the biggest hits on the market. And initially, he was at like 295, 305. And that was because Bruce Smith came out. And Bruce Smith's probably the best pass rusher right end in the game. So Deacon Jones got massively killed yesterday because he is another right end that wasn't the top one still. But he was up there as one of the top ones. I don't think he was like crazy overpowered. But still, now the lineman, the NFL 100 lineman, Took one of the biggest hits also yesterday. So I don't know if you guys were on, if you guys were watching yesterday at all the market. Anthony Munoz was 405k yesterday. Now he's 498. So like I said, if you had bought him for 405, you would have made an easy 50, 60k on him after reduction. Same with Jonathan Ogden, who's like 405. Uh, who else? Larry Allen was in like the 500k range. Bruce Matthews was in the low 400s. I don't know why I'm not seeing him here. Dwight Stevenson was in the, he was like, I think Dwight Stevenson was like 380. The market took a massive dip. But the issue was, was that I couldn't commit all my coins to it because I didn't know if it'd come back up that quickly. I thought maybe it'd stay, but no, it came up pretty fast. And now another guy that took a massive dip yesterday that I actually invested into a little bit was Tony Gonzalez. So Tony Gonzalez, on average, he goes for like 460 or 50. I got him for four, I think it was 405 yesterday. I saw two, there was a 415 and a 405 and like a 402. But the 402, I sat there and I was like refreshed to see if another one come. The 402 sold out. I was like, you know, I'm buying it. I bought the 405. And then I sold George Kittle for 360. So for a difference of like 50K, I ended up getting the best tight end in the game. And I exchanged it for George Kittle. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my Kittle. But come on, Tony G. And I'll still keep my Kittle. My Kittle will be my run blocking and my number two at a 90 overall instead. The run blocking stays pretty similar. And then I get this beast of a tight end. And so I think it was definitely a worthwhile upgrade for me. And again, my coin count stays very, very similar. So it doesn't really bother me. But again, Tony Gonzalez is another example of a guy that I got for 50, 50, 60 K less. And he wasn't even the best drop. He was just a card that I genuinely wanted on my team. So I had no problem buying him. Now, NFL 100 seems to be the only guys that will take hits. Because NFL 100 are on a pedestal right now. They're staying up here because they are cards that, although people might not like their names or want them, they are still the best cards at their position. So you have to give them value. So these are the cards that have the most volatility. Like at any moment, if they drop a brand new anything, that that's relates to their position that's either even close to good or gives them at least a thought these guys go down in value see right now you can't say you don't want Munoz, Ogden, Laney or any of these guys because they're still the best at their position the second card like you, you see with Emmett Smith and um Emmett Smith and what's your face Jim Brown people might not like him but they still are holding value and they still have value for a while on some more guys like McCaffrey and other running backs come out because they're still technically top four at their position they're not top two that's Dickerson and Barry you can easily see the chain here other guys that took a uh, crash yesterday or went down were the secondary guys too, like, like um, Deion Sanders. 
Deion Sanders was like 580. I probably should have bought it, but I don't want I don't want to kill my whole coin stack because I know if I kill my whole coin stack, I'm gonna have a trouble getting it back up during Christmas because there's no more level up grind. I did a lot of the other stuff. I sold off a lot of cards already, so I definitely need I never really need coins during Christmas. So I do not want to kill that just yet. But guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, my best advice I can give you is when this this promo comes out in segments. It's gonna be the first segment, the second, the third, the fourth, and maybe even the fifth. They're gonna come out in a lot of segments. So things will be coming out shortly. So as that happens, guys, best advice is when new things come out, go right to the market. I don't, when new things come out, I don't even look at the new cards. Maybe go watch a video on YouTube while looking at the market. Go over to the market right away because when people when they announce, let's say they announce a brand new Pat Mahomes or a brand new wide receiver or something, it will start to kill values of NFL 100 because new from the 95s will come out. Right now, everyone's coins are invested into those 95 94s because those are the best cards in the game. And they drop any 95s or more 94s, people will start pulling coins out of that market and putting them somewhere else, which will lower the value of the 94s, like we saw yesterday. They did bounce back up because inevitably what happens is people made them cheap, and then guys like me who had a lot of coins that haven't bought them yet because they've been waiting for the right price, like, oh, right price. They all bought them back up, and it just settled it again. So we need that a few more times today. For them to stay down, it's going to have to happen a few more times. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, and you guys don't already know, it is the 25 Days of Pood Miss. All you got to do is enter, and the giveaways will start ramping up as of tomorrow. Sorry, guys. I already started a few videos today. I forgot about that. We will be ramping them up as of tomorrow. So, all you gotta do is enter, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your console. Once you do all those things, once you do all those things, you're entered to win. So good luck. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.